Well, the Defense Department is scrambling to find $400 billion in additional cuts as part of the president's deficit plan. But trimming the fat at the Pentagon is not an easy task. Megan Hughes is in Washington with those details. Megan? Hi there, Margaret. Uh, Bloomberg uh, government analysts took a look at the numbers. And even before this deficit debate heated up this week, Secretary Gates, as you know, proposed $178 billion in efficiencies and top line cuts to be made over the next five years. But this study by B Bloomberg government looked at the details of those cuts and found that more than half, 59 percent of those savings are questionable. Example number one, a $6.9 billion cut from the defense health program with the U.S fighting two wars, lawmakers may be reluctant to cut health care for the troops. Similarly, the plan saves $6 billion by cutting 27,000 soldiers and 20,000 Marines three years from now. But if the U.S. is still in involved in Afghanistan, Iraq, or elsewhere, that will be tough to do. Another $11 billion will come from, quote, many smaller efforts, translating, Margaret, into, well, we couldn't think of anything specific. And on a much smaller scale, the Air Force proposes $5 million in savings from a Craigslist-like website to share the supply of parts from one base to another. Now, there are no details on how that site would save any money, and budget experts say bottom line on all of the secretary's plans, Congress may not sign off. They have spread out the contracting and subcontracting so that every single state is now economically involved in the Defense Department. And that's why it's so hard to cut. So as we look a lot at, at a lot of these proposed budget numbers, Margaret, the math on the projections can be a little bit fuzzy. According to our analysis, the Pentagon's proposed $178 billion in cuts looks more like $72 billion in real cuts.